If you can't find the right lighting you want, DIY decor expert Christian Dare says, have a go at making it yourself. That's what we're going to do right now, right? We yeah. give Christian some love. <laughs> Because number one, uh, sometimes the best thing about DIY is not only do you get personalized yep. things, you also are saving a lot of money. You save a lot of money. This whole project probably costs you under 20 bucks. Great. Maybe even under 10 okay. if you've already got the concrete at home, which you may or may not. But it's super, super easy, and you end up with this very chic sort of industrial pendant at the end. So this is, yeah, so this is the project, and this is where people are going with their design and decor. They want it looking very industrial. They want it looking very simplistic, yeah. and it's like, it's heavy. Like, this is real. Yeah, and if you want to source sort of a, a concrete pendant, they're like 150, 200 bucks a piece. Yes. But if you want to hang three over your kitchen island, that's like $500 versus yes. maybe 30 or 40 bucks to make three for yourself. Absolutely. So it's actually really, really easy, and I know I always say that. <laughs> Like They're easy, just along. sometimes a little time consuming, but this one's actually mm. super, super quick. Okay. Um, so the things you basically need uh, is a drill, which I'm sure most people have, sort of an yep. electric or cordless drill, either one will work. Some deck screws, just for support, easy okay. to find, any length will do. Uh, this is technically called a connector. Okay. And then this guy, you can get it at any sort of local hardware store in your lighting section, not your electrical section. It's actually called a nipple. So it's not a guy after all, is it? No. It's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nipple. It's a nipple. That's actually what it's called. It will say that on the box. Yeah. So you need that as part of this project. Yeah. So don't feel strange walking around asking, where do you find the nipples in the lighting department? <laughs> Just they'll last. know right away and they'll take you right to them without probably even laughing. Um, <laughs> so, and then you need two pop bottles or any sort of bottles, like water bottles, pop bottles. You want a larger one, so this is like a two liter, and then sort of a smaller one, like a one liter. Okay. Now, you can kind of basically do any sort of shape you want. It's kind of funny. I was last night wandering the grocery store, yeah. and I saw these really pretty, those oversized apple juice bottles that yes. do this sort of shape yes. on the top. So, you could do that, and that would be the shape of your pendant. Oh, nice. So, super easy. So, the first thing you want to do is basically drill holes in the top of your bottle cap. Right. And how you decide the size of your drill hole is you basically want it to be the size of your nipple. Okay. Because you're going to be threading it. All right. That nipple. <laughs> That's nipple. Okay. <laughs> so, super simple. You just thread it on the top. Mm -hmm. So, we get one. You do this guy through here. Ta-da. And you need to do that. I cut the bottom off. In the beginning. <laughs> in the beginning. Yeah. You thread this guy oh. through. And then when you tie, thread this guy through. I think I see where you're going with this however far down you want to go and then you screw this guy on and now you've got basically your inside layer right yes. so this is where we're going to be concreting okay i kind of rigged this guy up with an old vase super easy just so it's easier for your pouring right so you need something to sit it in so it's going to stay it in so it's easier i mean if there's two of you you could technically hold it yeah and then this is where the drill bit and the screws come in handy mm -hmm. what you actually want to do and i pretty much hold it or that anything would be great actually and you just basically want to screw through them too. Yeah. That guy. And you basically want to do it on three sides. Okay. We'll just do two sides for right now. Super simple. Is it supposed to line up with that hole you've already got there? Well, it may not today. Ish. Okay. <laughs> It depends how, it depends really you how to make you like this. made the. It depends how you screwed on that nipple earlier, right? Right. So what you want to make sure you're sure you're doing is basically, and if I screw in a third guy, you basically want these sides to be even. Right. So you're going to get as even side as you screw this guy in. Also, yeah. You basically are getting it's support so that basically when you pour in your concrete, it's keeping uh, your and center the thing, thing the apart. same distance around. So okay. you can see it kind of gives you the same distance all the way around. I get it. Okay, so now you have your concrete. concrete. So we're going to mix. It's right. time for you to bake. Okay. You're just going to stir. So you add the water in first, and this one basically is four parts to three parts. All right. So you want, uh, sorry, four parts to one part, four parts of concrete to one part of water. Did you, did you find cream. anything while you were doing this? Like, did this stain anything? Did it get nope. stuck on your countertop? No. Nope. Did it... No. I mean, I'd it wipe it up fairly easy. Like, recently, like, I wouldn't leave it on overnight on your countertop and then try and get it off. Right. So as it gets <laughs> thicker... Don't do that. Now, if you were doing this at home, you were going to want to wear the mask, the goggles, the gloves. You want to make sure none of this dust is getting into you. Uh, we're not doing it right now on TV because we're doing it really quickly. 
And basically, as it gets thicker. Ooh, yeah, it's see, getting, it's getting hard. It's turning so into really a workout, guys. Work it out. You can work your muscles, your yeah. arms. You want it to be really smooth. So you want to get okay. a quick crete with no aggregate in it. Yeah. Then you won't get stones in it. You'll get this smooth finish. Right. So no lumps. It so can't be like your potatoes. It says, <laughs> as it quite fully set right. yet. You then just want to slowly, it'll be thicker than this, pour it into your container. Right. So you're basically going to fill sort of the, all the outside of it. So I'm just going to show what that would be like. We're not going to fill it right now because we have our final, but you're filling all in here. This will all be equidistant because you have all of these holding it in place. Yeah. You pour that in and how long does it take to dry? They say 24 hours, but it yeah. totally sets within half an hour. The only trick I'll suggest is when you're doing it is every once in a while you want to tap this guy down a little bit. Uh -huh. It removes the air pockets out of it. Okay, I love it. Okay, and then look at your final yeah. beautiful light. So you put you, a lighting kit. Yeah, you just use a lighting kit and you just yeah. thread it right through. And then you can hang as many of these as, uh, as you want. One thing I like about DIY projects is using multiples. Yeah. Because it just tends to give it a little bit more heft, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, three in a row over a kitchen island would be amazing. Very nice, Christian. Thank you so much for that. Thank you.